You know the phrase, that person saved my life? It's used a lot. Maybe some of you have even said it before, but in the case of what happened at North Forney High School, it's not an exaggeration. Now, I can sit here and describe it for you, but I think it's more powerful if you see it for yourself. <laughs> a routine day turned out to be anything but for North Forney Junior Charles Atwood. Take a look at Charles. He's at lunch and he's starting to choke. He's choking on a meatball and does not know what to do. I was panicking, yeah, gasping for air and stuff. Senior Gustavo Rubio, also in the cafeteria, is close enough to know something is wrong, and he's seeing a frantic situation get worse by the second. I look at Charles choking, and there's a student yelling, teacher, teacher, teacher. With no teachers in the immediate vicinity, Charles, look at him right now. He's pointing at his throat over and over again because he knows he's running out of time. They say, you know, I fall back down. I lose complete control of my body. My eyesight hand went completely black. With one thing on his mind. My thoughts was like, I guess this is my time. I think God has wanted me to come up there, you know, to heaven. But Gustavo is not about to let that happen. Look at him race into the picture and lift Charles onto his feet. And from there, Gustavo lets his training take over. As soon as I picked him up, I turned him around and then I, I, I performed the Heimlich. Maneuver. A life saving skill Gustavo has learned and mastered during his time as a volunteer with Rockwall Fire and Rescue. How does that make you feel? Everyone complimenting you and congratulating you on something that seemed to come naturally for you. It feels amazing. Uh, a, a lot of people just look at me and then they just point and they're like, You're a hero. And it makes me feel good inside. <laughs> Sharon Russell, the school nurse at North Forney High, was in her office located a floor above the cafeteria when she was alerted that a student was choking. She's thankful that Gustavo was in the right place at the right time. I did cry. I was just so overwhelmed with it all, even after I got home that day. Adding to the emotion, Gustavo, a senior defensive end for the Falcons football team, didn't just save a friend, he saved a teammate with Charles also having been a member of the North Forney football program. We tell everybody, you know, man, when you wake up in the morning, God gives you two things, a chance and a choice. And right then and there, man, that guy made a choice to give him another chance. It might have been Gustavo's first chance to save a life, but it won't be his last. With a goal of being a full-time firefighter and EMT, he'll enter the DeSoto Fire Academy upon graduation in May. That's what my parents have always told me, make a difference wherever you go. It doesn't matter if it's small, it doesn't matter if it's big, just make a difference. All too often, we've seen examples of young lives taken way too soon. It's rejuvenating for the soul to witness the good that still exists in young people. I would say maybe like block out all the negativity and bring in positive, because you can put out kindness, kindness can come back to you. North Forney's Charles Atwood and Gustavo Rubio will always share a bond because of this special moment that changed both of their lives forever. Just last night, Gustavo was named North Forney Student of the Month, and rightfully so. When Forney ISD Communications Director Kristen Zastapool got legal clearance to share that video with me, she texted me and said, you'll get chills when you see it. You know, I've now seen it like a hundred times. I still have chills right now. You know why? Because we have to report on so many tough stories and we have uh, recently, it seems like every day, more bad news. It's so good to finally have good news to see with our very own eyes. And you know, it's such a good reminder too that these life-saving skills really can make a difference. And we talk so much about CPR, not so much about the Heimlich maneuver. So it's a good reminder that this is a simple skill that we all can learn that can truly come in handy and save someone's life. And, and we want you as parents and your kids, your family and your friends to have these skills. So. We've put a list of locations in North Texas where you can go and get some of these skills that can truly, Brooke, save a life. Yeah, you can find those on our website, cbsnewstexas.com.